guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you like a summer homeschooling update. I'm gonna share with you what is on our summer homeschooling cart. I'm gonna share like our homeschool room because I made like a few changes to our homeschool room. Don't worry, I will give you like a full homeschool room tour at the beginning of our upcoming homeschool year, but you will see like a, a lot of sneak peeks in today's video because I'm just gonna update you guys all on summer, um, just everything that has happened. Um, we really have been only in our summer homeschool schedule, you guys, for about two weeks, but I already have made some changes <laughs> for summer. So I can't wait to just like, you know, chat with you guys, uh, give you a summer update, and just let you guys know what is happening here in our homeschool. Okay, you guys, quick summer update. I'm so sorry I sound stuffy. We had like a summer cold run through our household and of course I'm the last one that gets it <laughs> after taking care of everyone in the household but you know it's perfectly fine. That's just how it rolls when it comes to like us moms. So I'm recouping over uh, this summer cold. I'm so sorry I didn't have a video for you guys uh, last week. I was really just <laughs> <laughs> recovering but I had to film this video for you guys today really just like updating you on like our summer like I said before um, so our summer schedule what we have been doing for summer school is we've been working four days out the week in our homeschool room I have a new homeschool setup I'm gonna share with you guys um, our homeschooling table and what I have planned for each of the kiddos what I have been doing is to actually setting out like everything on our homeschool table the night before we actually do um, our homeschool routine and it's it's really been going well. We've only been working in the homeschool room, you guys, for about an hour and a half. And um, I have to tell you, the kids, they want like more school. And it's so crazy. I guess it's really because um, we already did like our big summer vacation. We're kind of just like at home. We have been doing some things at the library because the library this year, they have like such a cool um, schedule that they're doing. So we've been participating in some of the library events. But other than that, you guys, we've really just been at home. Uh, we've been, you know, just chilling. <laughs> and I think they're just kind of like used to the flow of the schedule. That's really one of the benefits of year-round homeschool is that they're kind of, you know, used to always doing something. And um, I really have to kick them out of this homeschool room because <laughs> they're ready to start their homeschooling year. But um, I still have some planning that I need to do uh, for the upcoming homeschool year. And don't worry, I will take you guys along as I'm planning. I'm going to record those weeks, those videos really soon and hopefully I will have them posted by like the last week of June or the first week of July of me actually planning out um, our homeschooling year. I'm really really excited. I only have a few more things to do but before I plan out our homeschool year I still have to actually clean out my homeschool room. I kind of just shoved everything in my homeschool closet you guys. <laughs> if you haven't been new to my channel you already know like I'm notorious for putting something in a closet so I really need to clean out all of our old curriculum and clean out like the drawers in my desk. And I'm gonna take you guys along as I clean out my homeschool room. Um, other than that, um, I think I will be pretty much prepared to start off our homeschool year in July. So let me stop rambling and I'm gonna flip you around and share with you guys our new homeschool setup and what each of the kiddos have been doing uh, for summer and um, our summer homeschooling cart. Okay, you guys, this is our new homeschool table. So I'm gonna try to give you guys a little cap of how the room looks now <laughs> but this is how the homeschool room looks right now um, I have my kiddos alphabet portfolio right there and I just moved the desk that was right here I just kind of like switched places and we have like new homeschooling chairs Lauren if you're watching this video I stole your chairs <laughs> because I love them so much um, Lauren is my friend you guys from the practical homeschooler we like chat um, a lot so um, I seen these cute chairs in her last homeschool room I don't think she has a homeschool room now but I copied her so Lauren I copied your chairs I hope you don't mind <laughs> but uh, this is how the homeschool room is looking and it's actually all ready to go for uh, Monday so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys um, the setup and how it's looking. So this spot right here is for Alana, who is my three-year-old, and we started preschool math at home, you guys, and she's doing so good with this program. So I just have my little bookmark right here set off what we're, we're gonna do next. We are going to be doing um, this exercise where she's copying off my mat and we're still working on numbers one to five. Here is our little um, counter cubes that we've been using. 
And then here is her blend ladder that she's doing for Elemental Phonics. Um, so this is Alana's cute little um, tray that I use. I like to keep their stuff in trays, you guys, because um, sometimes we work, when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with them, I may work with them on the nugget or the floor right here. So I don't always have them sitting at the table, especially like my younger kiddos. So this is Alana, my three-year-old's, her little tray. Now for Leia, I did make some changes, you guys. I thought I was going to do Elemental Phonics with her, but you guys, she read this bob book to me the other day and i almost cried <laughs> so uh, she's definitely ready to go ahead and start all about reading um level one so what i did was i don't have my all about reading prep just yet and don't worry i, I think i am going to share with you guys how i prep this because i think i'm going to do it a little bit differently but what i did was i just tore out the first few cards that i'm going to need for this lesson i just used like my little um what are these are these are my magnetic letters i think i had these for a while and i just pulled out the sound cards that i need for this first lesson so when we come in here on monday i'm going to go ahead and do the first lesson with her and um i think what i'm going to do is just get her started off on here and then I'm going to see if I'm actually going to use like their the all about reading letter towels or if I'm just going to pull out my own letters because I don't know if I'm going to want to fool with those letter towels all the time you guys but um here is the setup for Leia for Monday for her phonics instruction. Uh, for math, we are working on, she actually does two math. She does um, math UC primer and kindergarten with math with confidence. But for right now, we've been just focusing on kindergarten math with confidence because the concepts are not lining up anymore. So I kind of have to catch her up on kindergarten math with confidence so the concepts can match up again. So um, until we get to about unit seven, then I'll probably go ahead and add back in the math you see primer. But for right now, this has been her main math we've been doing. So this is Leia's lineup. Here's her dry erase sleeve where she practices um, writing her numbers one to 10 um, every single day before she does her math lesson. So what I do is I break up these lessons. So we spend 20 minutes on her all about reading um, lesson then she gets a break and then uh, we spend 20 minutes on her kindergarten math with confidence so that's kind of like her little setup now here goes Brie Brie's seat uh, <laughs> she sits here all the time and Brielle we already went ahead and started her off on math you see Zeta it's going well um, I think we're already on um, lesson number three you guys yeah I think this is where we left off was 3b so yeah we're already on lesson three she's doing so well in this um and she's really really enjoys math you see now for vocabulary you guys know vocabulary was a struggle area for us I went ahead and I got this book right here called vocabulary cartoons I forgot exactly who I seen this from I seen it from a few people um if I remember I'm going to pop the names on in the screen of the um of the content creators that I seen using a uh, vocabulary cartoons cartoons but these are simple cartoons that helps the kiddos um remember vocabulary words they have a really cute like um saying for it so they can remember um what the meaning of the word means they have some sentences uh for each of the vocabulary words and so far Brielle has really been enjoying this she's been using her vocabulary notebook from school nest we started this notebook last summer and you guys like, I don't even know why I stopped using this notebook because uh, Brielle actually was retaining a lot of her vocabulary words when she was using this notebook last summer. And I don't know why I felt the need to like change it up on her. We were only doing four vocabulary words a week. And I think I was looking at quantity versus actually learning the words. And I think now I'm learning, you know, just to take our time when it comes to vocabulary, especially since this is the area that, uh, uh, we need to work in and hone in for her so some of these vocabulary words is ones that she did um last year in it so uh we just pretty much picked this book back up and uh we started off her first word which is a bore and what she does is she writes the definition she writes it the definition in her own words she writes her own sentence and then she copies one of the sentences from the vocabulary cartoons she does the uh, word study where she does the prefix and the root and then she uh, finds the synonym and antonyms of each of the words and she just does it for each of the vocabulary cartoons and she's been retaining vocabulary you guys so um this little vocabulary cartoon cartoon has definitely been a hit and it's simple for her um here is Brielle's little summer to do checklist this is all like her independent things that she does over summer so I just put it on a little uh, summer checklist for her so she can check it off of all the things she does that does she doesn't need me for so these two things she doesn't need me for this is what she does all on her own 
So you guys, here is the rest of our summer homeschool cart because you see I have the rest of the stuff set up and here is our morning basket. However, we haven't been using our morning basket and I'm gonna share with you guys what we've been doing for morning time instead. Um, so this is our little mini summer cart because my big bad boy, you guys, he is, uh, <laughs> he's retired for right now. Um, but I will pull back out my big bad boy <laughs> when our school year starts. So um, we just got a little baby girl right here because this is all we need for uh, summer. So here is our Rod and Staff Building English series. Um, we are working really well in this curriculum. Brielle loves Rod and Staff, you guys. Um, so right now we are actually on chapter, chapter seven. And we're working on punctuation and capitalization and things like that. Um, she's doing really, really well with this. I think we are going to start off on Monday comma in a series because we already talked about like um, direct quotations and she really, really enjoys this. Um, these lessons in here, you guys, they are so simple. So like we'll pretty much read this all together. We do the class practice orally and then sometimes I will have her do like a worksheet uh, if, the, if the lesson coincides with a worksheet. So here is some of the worksheets that she did um, last week in her um, rod and staff. And you see, they're very, very simple. And um, you guys, she absolutely loves this curriculum. So this is when she was practicing uh, direct quotations. And um, we're gonna probably use these pages next week when we uh, review over commas with her. So I'm happy we're at like a fun point in grammar. So it's not too, too challenging for her. Um, so we're just starting off with capitalization and punctuation. Um, the last chapters that I want to finish with Brielle um, is um, adjectives, adverbs, and then the uh, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. We typically skip this last chapter because it goes over dictionary skills, Bible concordance, and things like that. So um, we always end it off with the, whatever part of speech it is. So um, this is where we're at in uh, building English series. And I see us probably finishing this the first week of August. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and let it roll into our upcoming homeschool year because she loves this English curriculum so much. So that is uh, Rod and Staff. We have our um, read aloud that we're reading on our homeschool cart. You guys, first and foremost, if you haven't read The Lemonade War, that is a perfect summer story for you to read with your kiddos. It's so fun. Um, it's so cute. One thing I really love about this story is I love the sibling interaction between Jesse and Evan in the story. And I love how the author uh, does not shy away from uh, disputes with the kiddos. And I love how she allows them to work out those disputes that they have together. Um, great story. We're on the Lemonade Crime. We have been laughing so hard on it. We're actually more than halfway through the Lemonade Crime already, and then we'll go into the Bell Bandit. But the Lemonade War series has been so fun to listen to. So here is some cutting skills that I have on here for Leia and Alana. Um, when they get done with their like work, they always want something more to do. So I typically have them work like on their fun cutting skills when I'm working with Brielle. And then here is Leia's uh, Math UC primer. Um, here is like our uh, kindergarten math with confidence math box where I have like our counters and some cards and things like that that we made our money. And then at the bottom, I do have like some pastels, watercolor art. And I think our watercolors are actually downstairs um, because I do like the kiddos to, be, you know, have fun with art and things like that. Um, and like I said, here is our morning basket. But I decided to add something in different uh, for our morning time routine. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be using next week for our um, morning time routine. But this is the uh, table, the homeschooling table all set out, you guys, and um, ready Ready to go for the kiddos on Monday and um, I really really love like this new little um, setup so yeah okay you guys before I share with you guys what we're going to do for the morning time I want to share with you my new homeschooling planner so this is my new homeschooling planner for the upcoming homeschool year I'm so excited I got another school nest notebook planner so uh, this is what I'm going to be using and as you guys can see I already have started planning out our um, basic life science because when we start off our homeschool year I do want to give us like a slow start in ease into our homeschool year and what I think I'm going to do is just start off with only science and our uh, core for Brie and then I'm going to eventually add in you know the history and the English so I'm just really going to give us like a soft start so um, what I did was the only thing I did so far for planning for our upcoming year was I went ahead and I made a copy of our materials
materials list for our um, science supply so I can make sure I get the first six weeks of materials all ready to go. And I have been like looking over my Oak Meadows uh, Basic Life Science. Don't worry, you guys, this month you will see flip throughs of all of the Oak Meadow curriculum. I'm really, really excited, but I just wanted to kind of like get a feel for it before I did a flip through for you guys. But um, here is Brielle's Science Notebook. And then this is like my personal planner. But anyway, you guys, um, I decided to go ahead and do a simple summer with the kiddos because like I was saying before, um, they just wanted more summer and or more summer school, I should say. And when I seen a simple summer from Dina from Pursuing Peace, and I think I also seen this from uh, Christina from Rooted in Rest, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just try this one out. It seems simple. So the first week we're going to be studying is uh, gardens. So I know we don't have eight weeks of summer left for us so we may not get through all of the different um summer units but the one that I definitely want to do is like gardens ponds and I think I'm going to pick a few more because um you, like I said before we really don't have that much of summer left but I do want us to have fun enjoying some of these like um summer activities especially since the kiddos do want to do more things and I get it uh so hopefully they will have fun doing this one and this one is really going to be great for my younger kiddos so I went ahead and I picked up all of the books from the book list. So for Bible time, we are doing the Indescribables Daily Devotion. And I actually had a free Audible credit, you guys. So I went ahead and just have that book right there on Audible. So I didn't have to purchase it. So um, that is how we're listening to our devotions. And then we kind of like just follow the schedule. So um, it looks like the first week is just talking about gardens and seeds. Then we have spiders, sunflowers, ladybugs, and worms for the last week. And here is my big old stack of books. And as you guys know, you already know, um, I like adding in my own books. I don't just depend on the book list. I really like adding in, you know, diversity and things like that for the kiddos. So we're talking about gardens. We definitely have to bring up George Washington Carver. So I picked up um, A Weed is a Flower. This is one of the books I already had on my bookshelf. I have In the Garden with Dr. Carver. I have Community Soup. This is a really cute story about um, a young girl whose goats, they uh, <laughs> ruined the community garden right right when it's time for them to like harvest so uh, this is really going to be a cute story for me to read with my younger kiddos I also have Lola plants a garden this is just something I already had on my shelf for my kiddos especially for my younger ones that I, we're going to be reading I have the garden the curtain and the cross I have we are the gardeners I have planting a rainbow um Eric Carl tiny seeds this is the wiggly worms at work up <laughs> up in the garden and down in the, in the dirt a seed is sleepy and then here is one of the main reference books and this is a newer book I purchased which is slow down so this one looks really really great and I think what I'm going to do for Brielle is I'm going to go ahead and have her use her school nest notebook and start uh, doing some science journaling uh, with this unit since she um, is really really excited about science and it's kind of cool because when we start off our science with Oak Meadow it does start off with um, with plants which is going to be really really fun how it kind of like correlates with it so um, as much as Brielle does want to start her oak metal right now you guys I'm trying to hold her off on it but who knows we may end up starting her oak metal science just because it does correlate with um, what we are doing in this simple science unit and I'll definitely update you guys and let you know what we will end up doing but this is what I'm going to add on to our summer for the kiddos okay you guys I really hope you enjoy hearing all about like our summer how it's been going our summer routine um, all the things I have out for the kiddos uh, for our summer school and like some of the changes we've made uh, so far in summer but um, you guys I really have been enjoying our summer um, I know this was a chatty one but hopefully you kind of like this style of uh, video that I put out for you guys but um, as always you guys um, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and hopefully by that time I will be well and I won't have a cold <laughs> but um, as always you guys I look forward to seeing everyone in my next one bye